Hey guys, welcome to Spectamen channel. In this tutorial I will show the use of Ray Fire plugin to break objects and you can create a glass breaking too. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon also and like this video. So let's start. So, first of all I will draw a plane, to place the glass onto. And now, I will make the box, in shape of a glass. That's it. Okay, now I will create something that will break it. A sphere will be good. Okay now I will keyframe that sphere. I will animate it in such a way, that it passes through the glass. Now we are in the other view. Okay so let's start animating the ball. Move a few frames forward and move the ball pass through. Set key. And now a few frames forward. Move the ball below ground. So that's it, the part of manual animation is finished so far. There you can see. Okay now I will add these objects to Ray Fire. To install the Ray Fire plugin, go to the link in the description and get the Ray Fire plugin. And there is the plugin interface. Okay, now I will add the dynamic objects here. And the static or manual animation objects here. So the ball is manually animated and plane is static. That's it. Similarly, the glass is dynamic or physics controlled. So add that there. Okay, now come to the physics tab. And set the start frame to zero because by default it is 10 and leave the rest as that now just press the bake button to start simulation so you can see that glass is tossed away this is not what we want cancel the current animation and come down below in the physics tab you will see interactive demolition properties when turned on the object will break on collision. Leave other as that. And it still did not work. The reason is the ball velocity is not enough. So come down to interactive demolition. That parameter is zero, means off. Give it some value. Okay, let's try it. And now it breaks way too early due to collision between plane and glass. Set the sub step number. Let's see what happens. Okay this time it's getting better. Before improving it further, check the fragments properties. So here by default this is selected. But we want this. With this the object will break at point of impact or collision. So let's do it. And there it is. You can see that point of impact has more fragments. We can increase those fragments by the way. Come to the fragments tab. And increase the offspring numbers. 
the divergence means spread of impact. And there you can see what's happening. Okay so here is another improved project I already made. Note the fragment stab values. The iterations means more debris. More offsprings mean break into more objects. Note those values. Okay now let's bake it. Okay it has finished. That's cool now. More objects breaking. Okay so I am saving that project. And now we will work on breaking multiple times. So for that, you have to decrease the offspring and iteration values. And come down to demolition properties. By increasing the depth value, the broken pieces will also break on collision. The more depth value, the more offspring will keep breaking into new offspring. We may need to decrease that more, for faster processing. And there you can see the broken pieces, further broke into pieces. So now you can give the glass material and work on other effects. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click the like button. Check out these other videos also.